welcome to this lecture in this lecture i am going to explain how we are going to use a linear regression model in order to do the house price prediction process in this the very first step is to input the useful packages such as numpy pandas train test split from sklearn linear regression from sklearn and useful performance matrices from sklearn so in order to do so and do this step number 1 we are importing numpy as np input pandas as np from sklearn.model_selection we import train_test_split and the useful machine learning model here is linear regression model which could be imported from sklearn and since this is a regression process the useful performance metric is called as r2 score and it is also imported from sklearn step 2 is to import or read the house price prediction data set so the data set is available in the form of csv so this data set named kc_house_data it was downloaded from kaggle website and it is being read with the help of pd.read_csv syntax so now our data set available from the csv uh, excel sheet is now transferred to this variable named data now if suppose the data is having any infilled data or empty data or empty uh, column those empty informations can be identified with this syntax named is null and if suppose we wanted to leave or remove some of the unwanted features from the data set in the sense it could be done with the help of the syntax named drop here in this case square feet underscore above is one column which could be removed with the help of this drop now if suppose we wanted to convert some data uh, some dates which could be used if uh, one if suppose values are equivalent to 2014 else zero if suppose values are in the form of date so now the date column is now replaced with this zero and one format right now we have done some pre processing such as uh, identifying the null values dropping one unwanted feature converting the date format into zeros and ones and finally rewritten in the data variable itself if suppose we wanted to inspect visually what are all the informations available in this data set that could be done with the help of data dot head syntax see right now this is the uh, entire data set available so like say for example this data dot head function helps us to display first five samples of our data set when we scroll down scroll right we could see there are several number of features named like price of the house number of bedrooms number of bathrooms square feet of the living room and so on if suppose if it is uh, hard for us to scroll to the towards right and see how many number of features are there Uh, the number of uh, features and entire information about the data set can be inspected with the help of info syntax right now we could see there are 19 number of such features okay the next step is to convert uh, if any string data available in the data set in the sense those uh, string informations have to be converted into numerical data using suitable conversion why because machine learning model is easy to understand only the numbers and not the string and in this uh, data set fortunately all the informations and features are available in the number so this uh, step 3 is unnecessary over here step 4 is to identify the dependent variable and the independent variable say for example since this is the price prediction house price prediction the feature named price are identified as uh, dependent variable and the features such as id and price can be removed from the entire data set with the help of drop function and the remaining entire features can be stored in the x variable right now x variable is carrying all the independent features and y variable is having the one single column named price which is nothing but our continuous label so next step is to split this data set into training uh, set and the testing set so uh, already we have imported this uh, thing right from sklearn 
train underscore test underscore split function so right now we have x independent variable and y independent variable separately holding entire hundred percentage of our data we are feeding this x and y this hundred percentage data can be splitted into 80 percentage of training and 20 percentage of training part as we have mentioned test size is equal to 0.2 Next step is to define the machine learning model. Since this is a pre uh, prediction process, we can use linear regression uh, model. So right now, I am using this variable named LIRE to define our linear regression model. And also, I am going to train the model with the help of training independent uh, part and training uh, dependent part of the uh, training set. So, I am doing the fitting process which is equivalently called, called as model training. LIRE is a linear regression model that is undergoing train when you do this function named dot fit. Now, the model is trained. The next step is to test the model. While doing the testing process, we are going to hide the y original test labels we are going to feed only the test independent variables so the testing can be performed with the help of syntax named as dot predict so pre the predicted the model predicted labels are stored in the variable named y underscore predict and the original labels are stored already stored in the variable named y underscore test both the informations are displayed over here with this print function now next step is to determine the performance of the model is with the suitable metric so already we have used r2 underscore uh, r2 underscore score as our important metrics as this is the prediction process right now i am running this command where the original labels stored in y underscore test variable and the model predicted labels uh, which has been right now stored in the y underscore predict variable are compared with each other in order to calculate the r2 score performance metric you can see the performance metric is 0 0.689 so right now we can do one certain hyperparameter tuning Say for example, we have computed this uh, model performance just by considering training test split as 20% of data set belonging to test size. Right now, I am going to modify the test size uh, to 30% instead of 20%. After changing this test size, I am running it again. I am defining the model and training the model once again. I am predicting the model once again and right now i'm going to compare the performance see before the performance was 0.689 after changing the test uh, size as 30 percentage right now again i'm going to run this command so right now you could see a small increment was there in the r2 score performance